What up, Ken folk? This is your boy, the Do-Rag Gamer, aka Screwface Capone. And if you saw my last unboxing video, then you'll recognize this. This is the Super Retrocade. It's a plug-and-play system made by Retrobit. For those of you unfamiliar with Retrobit, they specialize in retro-style equipment, such as NES-style control pads, SNES-style control pads, um, Bluetooth controllers. So if you're playing retro-style games on maybe your computer or a RetroPie device, then you can get that old school feel with them. Um, they also like they also create uh, controllers for sit for like the NES Classic, the uh, PlayStation Classic, and the upcoming Genesis Classic. If you want, if you're if you're looking for that um, old school feel. So what this is is a um, plug and play device. Um, you can use either HDMI or AV hookups. And it has 90 games from companies such as uh, Capcom, Irene, and Data East. And, it's a and as far as plug and play devices, it's a pretty good game. Um, there's a sheer amount of variety, there's no filler. And um, compared to like systems like the NES Classic and the PlayStation Classic, there's a greater, there's a um, bigger variety of games, and there's a and there's a bigger count of games. So to me, that alone makes it one of the better plug and play systems on the market. And it's only available for like 60 bucks on Amazon. I'll post a link in, in it below. So um, there's an HD, there's an SD card slot on the back of it. Um, so you, you have to have a um, SD card with um, one of the adapters on it. So um, I speculate that that it might be used for well it's it's officially used for like um save states but turns out there's also a way you can side load other ROMs on here and I'm going to show you now keep in mind I don't endorse bootlegging so if you're going to put I don't know versions of X-Men versus Street Fighter on here then um you better have the arcade machine but let's go to the computer and I'll show you how. It's a pretty quick process. So now that you got your USB card together, what you want to do on the root of it is create a folder called RetroBit Games. That's R-E-T-R-O-B-I-T space G-A-M-E-S. And what you want to do is place any game ROMs on there. If you got arcade or main ROMs, then you want to keep them zipped up. But if you got ROMs for other systems such as the NES, then you want to unzip them and so that they'll be on there with the .NES um, extension. Same thing with any Super Nintendo games. Um, those will be um, those will be uh, SMC, I believe, and the Sega Genesis ones will be uh, .BIN. You can also put Game Boy game ROMs on here. Strangely, that's one of the systems that's not on the device by default, but for whatever reason, you can load Game, game Boy ROMs, so those will be .GB. Now, if you want to um, take, if you want to take it a step further and add like an image, just like the other games on the, on the um, Super Retro KDR, then what you can do is find an image of the game online and um, make sure, and um, for instance, with this one, make sure you rename it. Um, for instance, the um, ROM's going to be X-Men, then you're going to rename it X-Men Game dot, um, dot PNG. Now, this might not work for like uh, all games or all systems, so it takes a little bit of experimentation. But that's pretty much all you have to do. Now, let's go to our retro okay, device and see how these games work. Now that we're back on our Super Retro K device, what you want to do is take that SD card and insert it into the back. And you'll get this screen, um, SD card mounted. Obviously, please select data storage. Obviously, you want to select SD card. And here go your games. Let's see what all we got. There are no Konami games on here, so I decided to add um, X-Men on here, that old arcade game. And this goes along great with the uh, classic games on here.
See what else we got on here. Speaking of Konami, I also decided to throw uh, Super Castlevania 4 on here. Now, in theory, this device can run emu any emulator from any system that's already on this disc. So that's um, certain versions of MAME, Super Nintendo, Genesis, uh, and the NES. And you can also, but um, strangely, you can also run um, Game Boy games on here. I threw Bionic Command on here. And with the MAME ROMs, um... Like, different games are made from different boards, so, uh... Different boards are made from, uh... I mean, different games are made using different boards, so, uh... They may or may not run, depending on what game it is. For instance, here's Captain America and the Avengers, um... From Data East, and... As you can see, it won't run. I'm not sure what this is, but it's not running either, obviously. But here's a little known game called Bloodstorm. And as you can see, I had no problem getting it to run. And on the Genesis side of things, I decided to throw on uh, Bill Walsh College Football. <laughs> Just because there's hardly any game sports games on here. I, I'm a big fan of college football. So it's the Sega Genesis game, so it has no, so it can run on here. So there might be other systems that this can run with. So again, you'll want to experiment. Here we go. And of course, uh, if you saw the last video, the one thing I complained about was that uh, there was no River City Ransom on here. So you tried to get that to run. Oh well. Here's another Nintendo game, Power Blade 2. This actually game that was released by Taito, I think, but um, it goes, um, it, it goes great with this collection. If you, if you saw some of the other games that are on here. And that's it. That's how you can run. As I can add on additional ROMs to your Super Retrocade, no third-party software, no hacking needed. If you want to go back, you just re um, you, you can either just pop out the SD card, or you can just restart the system. Um, it's kind of um, it's usually risky, I guess, if you run if you pop out the SD card. But as you can see, I did it anyway. Yeah, that's how you can add more ROMs on here. Um, and like I said, you don't need any... Um, um, no third-party software, no hacking needed. And that's how you can side load additional ROMs onto your Super Retro K device. No third-party programs, no hacking, no taking apart your console required. Now, I know it's not exactly a retro pie or anything like that, but... 
it's a great way to experience, well, like I said before, it's a uh, great way to experience classic gaming, um, especially with the um, 90 games that are already on here. It's um, low cost, it's pretty cheap. So I definitely, so if you're a retro gaming enthusiast and you really don't care about the collecting aspect, then um, I would highly re recommend you check one of these out. And that's all for today. Keep um, Make sure you subscribe and like my video if you like what you're seeing. Or um, even if you don't, um, just let me know what you think in the comments. And I will be back here with more great content. Thank you.